Okay, this is the top up priming procedure for the 732 tool. First off, connect the air. And then trigger the tool and disconnect the air when it's in the down position. After the tool's triggered and the airline has been disconnected, remove the two bleed screws on the 732 tool on the pull side and empty both of the syringes um, with air so that we've only got oil in the syringe. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Go. Okay. Push oil from one syringe to the next making sure there's no air evident when you finish. You see air coming into the second syringe. There's no air coming through now, so then change and push oil back through. See again, more air bubbles. Keep doing this until no air is evident in either syringe when pushing the oil between the two. See that's running clear now. Try to even out the volumes between both syringes and then remove the syringe from the lower pull bleed port. Once you've removed the syringe from the lower pull bleed port, reseal it uh, with the screw and the doughty seal. And then what we're going to do is set the head piston stroke to 21 millimeters. We're going to use that with the pull stroke setter for that. To use that, wind that into the front of the head. Now, as the head piston has already moved back partly, this won't contact the head piston until right near the end of the stroke. It's very important that whenever you're winding the pull stroke setter in, if it contacts the head piston, you have to keep pressure on the syringe. That makes sure that when the head piston moves back, any oil that's needed in the head is pushed in from the syringe. Because if this syringe, the plunger will not be drawn down because there's too much friction. So whenever you're winding this stroke setter in, keep pressure on the plunger of the syringe. And feel here, it's freely moving, so it's not contacting the piston. Now it's contacted it. So we'll wind the head piston back. So moving again, keeping pressure at all times on the syringe plunger. There we go, and that's it, a stop. You can now release the pressure from the syringe and remove the pull stroke setter. After you remove the pull stroke setter, remove the syringe and reseal the pull bleed port. Okay, okay after you've uh, resealed the pull bleed port, then reconnect the air. This will then seat the air piston back in the top position. When that's happened, disconnect the air again. When you've, when you've done that, remove the two return bleed screws and be ready to, to prime the return side. With approximately 30 millilitres of oil in the syringe, make sure that any air bubbles that are evident are pushed out of the extension so that there's only oil in the syringe. Make sure you do this with both syringes. Okay. As with the pull side bleed, push oil from one syringe to the other until there are no air, air bubbles evident. You can see some air came through then into the second syringe. 
make sure that when you're pushing oil you never drop below the five milliliter mark just to make sure you're not pushing any extra air into the system. You can see a few air bubbles appearing in the second syringe. So just push through until they're happy that there's no more air in the system. Cycling the oil between the two, that looks clear. And roughly even out the volumes again between the two syringes. We're happy that the return side has enough oil in. Remove one of the syringes and reseal that port with the bleed screw and the doughty seal. Right, we're now going to make sure that the head piston is fully forward. We're going to use the return stroke setter. And this is wound onto the front of the head piston. Again, before this surface contacts the front of the head and moves the head piston forward, you need to make sure that there's constant pressure applied to the top of the syringe. Now just make sure you don't draw any air into the system, it's only oil. So again, 27mm across flat spanner. As soon as, before you start experiencing any pressure, make sure you keep pressure on the syringe and that head piston is now fully forward. Again, when it's fully forward and you're not moving the return stroke setter anymore, you can release the pressure on the syringe. What we do now is we keep this um, return stroke setter in place. And what we're going to do is push a bit of extra oil from the syringe into the return side in the handle. This is going to move the little floating piston and push it down hard against the air piston rod. So this equates to about half a cc or half a milliliter of oil. So you need to put a reasonable amount of pressure, you'll feel something move. There, you could hear a very light click when that um, floating piston seats against the air piston rod. That means that that now is in the correct position and you have full oil on both the pull and the return side. Okay, after doing that, remove the return stroke setter and remove the syringe, reseal the return bleed port and then you can connect the air and test the tool to make sure that it cycles to 21mm of stroke and that you achieve full pull force and that the head piston returns properly. Okay, so tool set at about five and a half bar to place the Avdalok product. 